In the early hours of Monday a full moon passed into Earth's shadow in space, with those in North America, Australia and parts of Asia having the best view. For much of the world it was merely a regular full moon, though the sight of it rising in the east as a temporarily muted orange orb remains one of the most underrated in nature. Known in November as either the Beaver Moon, or the Frosty Moon, a full moon is 100% illuminated by the sun for just a moment each month when it's positioned on the other side of Earth to the sun. However, the moon appears to be full to onlookers for a night or so either side of that global moment. What was unusual about Monday's full moon is that for a few hours it didn't receive the sun's light directly. All planets cast a shadow, and Earth stretches 870,000 miles (1.4 million kilometers) into space. When the moon is in its full phase, i.e., the sun, Earth and moon are lined up, our satellite occasionally passes through Earth's shadow. Earth has two shadows, its outer, fuzzy penumbral shadow and its inner, darker and redder umbral shadow. On Monday, November 30, 2020 about 83% of the moon passed through Earth's penumbra to cause a penumbral lunar eclipse. Monday's celestial event was the first of two successive, beaver moon eclipses. A partial lunar eclipse is set for November 19, 2021. It happened as China's Chang'e 5 spacecraft orbited the moon while preparing to land. Although official details are scant, it appears that Chang'e 5 could be about to land on the lunar surface and begin its mission, to collect more moon rock and lunar soil than any mission since NASA's Apollo 17 mission in 1972. The penumbral lunar eclipse also lined up something special for two weeks' time. The path of the Sun through our sky, and the orbit of the Moon around the Earth, are not aligned. There's about a 5 difference. That's why eclipses are common, most full moons are above or below Earth's shadow, and most new moons are above or below the Sun. However, those two paths do occasionally intersect, as they did on Monday morning, at what are called nodes. The alignment caused by the moon being at a node will still be in place on December 14, 2020, when a new moon will pass perfectly across the sun to cause another eclipse. The result will be a fabulous total eclipse of the sun for those inside a narrow path through South America. If a moonrise is one of nature's most underrated sights, not so a total solar eclipse, which is one of nature's grandest sights of all, and everyone knows it. If you're never experienced the otherworldly feeling of rapidly dropping temperatures, squeezed sunlight and the screeching of birds as night falls during the day, not to mention the chance to gop at the sun's delicate, spiky white corona, you need a new bucket list. The next, Beaver Moon Eclipse, a partial lunar eclipse on November 19, 2021, will set up a total solar eclipse in Antarctica on December 4, 2021.